Hello everyone, today I'm going to tell you guys the life of John Taylor. He was a trader, farmer, and shopkeeper in Albany, New York. He married Margarita Van Valkenburge in 1764. Taylor was a patriot during the Revolutionary War. He was drawn into public service for the colonies. He was a member from Albany County in the New York State Assembly from 1777 to 1779, in 1780 to 81, and from 1785 to 1787. He was appointed city recorder, deputy mayor, of Albany in 1793 and first judge of the Albany County Court in 1797. In 1798, he ran for U.S. Senator from New York but was defeated by Federalist James Weston. He served in the New York State Senate from 1804 to 1813. On January 29, 1811, he was elected president pro tempore of the state tonight and was acting lieutenant governor. L.T. Gov. John Broom, having died in August 1810, he served until the end of June 1811 when he was succeeded by DeWitt Clinton, who had been elected L.T. Gov in a special election under the provisions of Article XX of the New York State Constitution of 1777. Taylor was elected lieutenant governor in 1813 and re-elected in 1816 on the ticket with Daniel D. Tompkins and Tompkins' resignation to assume the office of Vice President of the United States, Taylor served as acting governor from February 24 to June 30, 1817. Article 17 of the New York State Constitution of 1777 states, As often as the seat of government shall become vacant, a wise and discreet freeholder of the state shall be by ballot elected governor, which elections shall be always held at the times and places of choosing representative in assembly. These mean that whenever a vacant occurred, the LT Gov did not succeed to the governor's office but administrated the state only until the end of the yearly term of the New York State Assembly on June 30, the successor being elected in April. This was the only occurrence of a vacancy of the governor's office under this constitution and in April 1817, David Clinton was elected governor Taylor was re-elected LT governor and re-elected in 1820. The duel between Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr in 1804 is linked to comments spoken by Hamilton and Taylor's home in Albany, which were related in a letter written by Taylor's son-in-law, Dr. Charles D. Cooper, which was later published in an Albany newspaper. Taylor was a presidential elector in 1828, voting for Andrew Jackson and John C. Calhoun. Taylor died on March 19, 1829 in Albany. He was buried in Albany Rural Cemetery in Memphis, New York. Thank you for watching.